Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on types of data. So this is the second video on this topic and we'll just go over some example questions. So the first one, Janet wants to learn some information about Jason. She learns three pieces of new information about him. For each one, state whether the data is discrete, continuous or categorical. Uh, so the first bit is his hair colour. Uh, so his hair colour is uh, qualitative data, so it's worded data, uh, otherwise known as categorical. Uh, so we can say that's categorical data. Uh, the next one, how many siblings he has. Uh, well, it's numerical data first of all, so it's quantitative. Uh, now is it discrete or is it continuous? Uh, well, he can only have fixed numbers of siblings, he can't have half a sibling, so it's discrete. And then finally, how fast he can solve a Rubik's Cube. Why on earth she wants to know that is beyond me, but um, uh, it's numerical data. And uh, again, is it discrete, is it continuous? Uh, well, it could take any time for him to solve a Rubik's Cube. It could take him 10 seconds, it could take him an hour, he might never be able to do it, uh, so it's continuous. So let's move on to the second example then. So Chidi wants to gather some data on people's favourite food. He decides to use a survey he found online that was conducted 10 years earlier, where 200 people were asked if their favourite food was Italian, Chinese, Indian or Thai. State which two of the following words describes the data Chidi is using. Well, first of all, primary. Uh, so primary data is any data that you've gathered yourself. But it says you used a survey that you found online. So that's obviously someone else that's gathered the data. So it can't be primary. Uh, now, if it's not primary, it has to be secondary. So in other words, uh, someone else uh, gathered the data. So we'll take that one and we'll move on to categorical data. Well, categorical data, otherwise known as qualitative data, is any form of worded data. So in this case, where people are asked if their favourite food is Italian, Chinese, Indian or Thai, that is worded data, so it's categorical. Uh, we can rule out discrete and continuous because the data is not numerical. Uh, so those are our two words which describe the data he's using. So moving on to part B, to state one advantage and one disadvantage of Chidi choosing to use this type of data. Uh, well, um, if it's uh, secondary data, then he doesn't have to gather it himself. Uh, so it's more convenient, it's cheaper, uh, less time consuming. So let's just say it's less uh, time consuming. So that's one advantage. Uh, one disadvantage though, uh, is that it might not be reliable. Uh, so if, it, if the uh, survey is 10 years old, uh, then it might be outdated. There's only 200 people that were asked. Um, so there could be any number of issues with that. Uh, it doesn't know how it's collective. It might not be representative. Uh, but let's just say for our disadvantage that it could be outdated. Okay, so that's one advantage and one disadvantage. So that would be enough to get you all three marks in this question. So if you want to test yourself on types of data, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform and you'll find loads of different questions so you can practice all the different types of data uh, and all the feedback is available instantly. Uh, so you can keep track of your progress and find out which areas you're weak on as well as which areas you're strong on and find out where you can improve. Uh, so if you're interested, then you can take the test by clicking the link below.